Welcome to Nuts and Bolts with Tone. Today, I am going to talk to you about this 2008 Nissan Frontier. This vehicle, customer states that it has a blown fuse in underhood fuse box. They replace the fuse, start the vehicle, fuse blows. They've went through a packet of fuses, now it's here. They have one fuse left. So I got vehicle, had a blown fuse, verified the blown fuse, I installed a circuit breaker, tested the vehicle, and the vehicle started, and as soon as I started the vehicle, the circuit breaker popped, indicating that there is a short somewhere in that circuit. Now that circuit is the automatic transmission ECU. So I troubleshot this, this problem, and I'm gonna show you how I figured it out and how you can test for this, as it's a very common problem. Here we go. So fuse number 49 is this guy right here. It's a 10 amp fuse. Okay, this fuse right here will be blown. In the underhood fuse box, in this, in this fuse box, in the lid, it does not state it is fuse 49, but it is fuse 49. I found that out through all the diagrams. 10 amp fuse right there. Okay, so you have that fuse, it's blown. Obviously you've checked your battery, you've checked your power, you've checked everything. You hooked up a scanner, you hooked up some sort of... Uh, device to check the computer and when you did that it had no communication okay with the with the with the ECM so after you do that then what you want to do is you're going to come here to this guy right here which is your DLC this is where you plug in to communicate with your engine control module check for codes things like that we use scanners, you can use little devices, the auto parts stores have them. Uh, they're, they're generic code readers, but our scanners go through the manufacturer side. And basically what, what, what works with this connector here is that you have what's called a CAN communication system, and it has a high and a low. It's pin eight and pin 14. That is how everything on the computer, on the car communicates is through that, it's called a bus line. Well, if there's, a, if there's a bus stop that's down, then it can take out the whole network. It can take out other computers depending on the design. In this one, what happened is the ECU has no communication and the automatic transmission control module has no communication either. All right, so here's how you're gonna test it. So, pin one, is this guy over here it comes across to pin 8 then it comes back to pin 19 and goes to pin 16 to pin 9 to 16 okay so pin 8 is the third one over from this side and then right below it is 14 so what you're gonna do with your key in the ignition All right, key in the ignition. In this case, there is no check engine light on because there's no communication with the ECM. So we're gonna go here and we're gonna go in to pin eight. And we're going to check the voltage. Now there should be approximately five volts across this can line. It should be about two and a half on each wire. So that's pin eight. And that's pin 14. As you can see, we do not have five volts. So another test you do after that is we're going to take the key out. And we're going to put this, that was testing voltage. And what we're going to do is we're going to put this on ohms and we're going to ohm test this. All right. So now we're going to go across pin eight and pin 14.
Okay, now going across here, you should have about 60 ohms. There's two 30 ohm resistors in this circuit, and it should give you 60 ohms. In this case, we have almost no ohms. So, now what we're going to do is now I'm going to go and disconnect the transmission control module. The transmission control module is inside the transmission. All right, I'll be right back. It's going to take me a second. Okay, so now you can see we have 60 ohms across this network here. All right, that indicates that the transmission control module was the problem. That was what was taking the network down and giving no communication. Now what we're going to do is we're going to just check the voltage. And now across this, on each wire, there should be approximately two and a half volts. All right, gotta have the key in and on. All right, keys in, keys on. 2.3 volts on that one. And now we're gonna go one, two, three, and 2.6 volts on that one. So that's about five volts across the CAN network. And that shows that everything works. Everything is communicating. And you can see that the check engine light is on in the center. The check engine light was not on before. And we have communication with the scan tool now. So what happens on these is that the cooler inside the radiator fails. And coolant leaks into the transmission fluid. The coolant has a higher pressure than the transmission fluid. So the, so the coolant goes into the transmission and the cool, the, since the transmission control module is inside the transmission, the coolant that gets into the transmission, it rusts the TCM, the transmission control module, inside the transmission and causes it to fail, causing it to short circuit, blow the fuse, and everything that's going on with this. So in this case, this one needs a transmission and it needs a radiator. If you don't replace the radiator, then your new transmission will eventually fail as well. So that is what's going on with this one, and I hope you learned something about this 08 Frontier. Also taught you something about the CAN network, communication on the vehicle, things like that. Thanks for checking out Nuts and Bolts with Tone. Hit the subscribe button and hit the bell, and you'll know any new time, anytime I get new content, which will try to be a couple times a week. I'll try to give you a tool review. And check out my Instagram at Nuts and Bolts with Tone. See you next time.